this glorious place that we call Los Angeles can be seen as a very a glamorous city, but there are many Los Angeleses. I've probably had six or seven close friends murdered right by my home. That's a sad reality of our neighborhood because it's like you walk out of your house and you know that you might not make it home. Our neighborhoods are diverse in every way. I like to describe Los Angeles as today's modern Ellis Island. I'm a daughter of immigrants, so when they came here, they thought she's gonna be a lawyer, she's gonna be a doctor, something very practical. And when I was like, I wanna be a screenwriter, they were like, oh my goodness, what? Hollywood, it's known worldwide. Wherever you go, you think about the Hollywood sign, stars, the Oscars. But many times, we also see that it's not attainable for a lot of our youth in Los Angeles. Just miles away, you've got this different kind of reality. You have this disparity of wealth between the haves and the have-nots in a very glaring, disturbing, and powerful way. Believe Los Angeles is a way to help our communities that are underserved, but have great potential and have students who want to learn and have the ability to reach the American dream. We're gonna actually go through all of the scenes in the Whoa. scripts, oh and you guys are gonna vote. So what we're really after is we're after the story. Like Brotherhood Crusade is a great organization. We had the pleasure of launching the Media Collective program at their center. And it's a program that is focused on introducing their youth and their clients into the film industry. You're actually going to shoot a promo for the project that you're assigned to. We knew that the need is great, but more importantly, the Media Collective is right here in the community. We like to meet young people where they are. Well, you better get out of my face or I'm not going to play with it. I don't live to please you. I can barely please myself. It's good to believe in yourself, but just to hear it from somebody else, you know. If you want to be a filmmaker, you got it. You can do it. I believe in you. When somebody told me those words that I believe in you, it made me feel like, you know, I can fly. <laughs> we have great leaders all around this city. They just need the opportunity to shine. They need the opportunity to tell their stories. Let's give it up for them. Let's go ahead and start practicing our pitches. I just want to tell stories that reflect me and people I've met. I think that I have a very unique voice that I don't get to see a lot on the screen. So my story is called Magic. It's a bunch of supernatural teenagers running around the mortal world not knowing what they're doing. The mission of Ghetto Film School is to educate, develop, and celebrate the next generation of great American storytellers. My story will bring loneliness, friendship, and adventure. As a child of immigrants, I was under a lot of pressure to be uh, something more than just like an artist. Our students are getting world-class training, and they're being inspired and encouraged to pursue their own pathway. I needed somebody to tell me, oh, it's okay that you're going to be a filmmaker. It's okay that you want to pursue storytelling. Always the goal and what you want to be thinking about is what you're in the room to do, which is to sell an idea. We're all about talent. We're all about ambition and drive and supporting kids who have that kind of vision. And what they need are tools and resources and training. Very informational, but I think you're also pitching yourself why you're the best person to tell this story and no one else. I'm 22 years old and I'm an associate producer on the Netflix show On My Block. Ghetto Film School has given me all the tools I needed to get into this industry and thrive in this industry. The mission of Promesa Boyle Heights is to close the achievement gap and really set into place a bridge for our students to have access to, to higher education from cradle to career. Through our support of Promesa Boyle Heights, we have seen their graduation rates increase by threefold. Before, I didn't really know the purpose of education, but being in this program has really changed the way I see things. My hopes and dreams are to graduate high school, go to college, and study medicine. I have set my mind towards the goals I have for myself and have decided to work hard until I reach them. 
I can speak from experience. Having grown up in this part of Los Angeles, I am the first one out of 10 kids to attend uh, college and university. And so I believe that the students that we work with all have the capacity to succeed. AT&T's investment will help Promesa continue to build on our successes and make the cradle to college and career dream a reality for so many of our youth and families. Hello Lab has two really terrific programs. Our first is our Filmmaker Lab, and it is an opportunity for young high school aged girls to really get a peek behind the curtain of the film industry. So they get education, hands-on experience, and most importantly, they start building networks with true industry greats and one another. Hearing so much advice from fantastic people knowing that, oh yeah, we can do it, you know, they did it. So why can't we? The second project is our mentorship project. And this is where we take young, diverse voices that are just starting out in their careers. We provide them resources, mentorship, and education to produce short films. And these short films, they're powerful. They're told in their voices, from their point of view, and we often premiere them, and they go on for contention into film awards. To have someone intentionally give you an opportunity because they know that voices like ours are not given opportunities just felt like, it was like, this can't be real. It felt like we were all working towards something bigger than any individual one of our movies or any individual project or person. It felt like we were working towards like a bigger vision of the industry. Being a part of that was, it was awesome. Hope has an address here at Homeboy Industries. We're uh, near downtown Los Angeles, and for the most part, this is gang-neutral territory. I just want to talk about a place, a place like Homeboys. I never thought something like this existed when I was in prison, when I was in the streets. There are 100,000 gang members in the county of Los Angeles, and when they want to get out of gang life and get a life of crime, we represent that hope, and when they walk through our doors, we're going to help them in some way. What's Cache at? Where you at? I'm right here. Come, come through the <laughs> I want to bring the homegirl here because we got a lot of things in common. We grew up in the same neighborhood. The street separated us, who we hanged around with and who we were. But here today, I'm able to stand next to her and give her a hug and say she's my homegirl. Miguel, him and me were rival enemies from two different gangs that never got along. They still don't get along, but the difference is when we come here, we're like a family. I don't see him as an enemy anymore. I see him as like a brother, and he sees me as a sister. It's all about helping people transform their life through love and kinship, and we bring in as many people as we can afford. Have a good day, you guys. So the fiber optic is sending power to the camera. It powers up the viewfinder and all of the jib controls. I'm a non-traditional student. I have two kids. I can't devote what would be expected of me from a university, but I can still get that same information and I can do it on my schedule with people who support me right here. This is so cool. The California Community Colleges and the LA Colleges in particular serve 230,000 students. About 85% of our students come from racial minority groups. We have our students that come from first generation families. A good number of our students are low income. My name is Chandra Major. I'm performing the open door exercise. The LACC Film and Cinema Department basically saved my life. If it were not for this department, I, I wouldn't have the smile on my face. I wouldn't have hope. So pretty much everything you need for a, a live multicam show, we learned that right in this video. The students have an environment here where they can be their authentic selves and everything that they bring from their communities will be respected and nurtured here. They're coming out of here with a really great foundation of skills, and these are the most diverse storytellers and filmmakers around. When you have diverse thoughts and experiences, and people can come together and have those conversations, that is truly what births innovation. I'm more happy, I'm more peaceful, very eager to experience new things that were once impossible to me that are now possible. I hope to mentor, and I hope that 
as I continue to grow as a professional, I can help others grow with me and we can diversify the film industry with the stories we tell. I believe that uh, the student's greatest peril is not that they set their goals too high and never reach them, but that they set them too low and do. My hopes and dreams for the future is that we have more access to education for every student and that there will be more opportunities for every resident in Los Angeles. My hopes and dreams is to mean something, not only to myself, but to mean something to somebody else. To be what my mentors were to me. I want to be that person who says, you know what, I believe in you.